Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. What theme song is that from? What movie? No, no, I'm being real. I didn't oh. say I didn't say to repeat after me. Oh, I thought, I thought we were all singing. No, 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 no. Okay. What movie is that from? Um, Jurassic Park. No, 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 no. Um. Is it space related? Yes, I know. I've tried, I I can see it. My yeah. mom, my yeah. mom watched this. Yeah, not Stargate. I'll get, I'll, Day. Stargate. Yes, would you say yes. Independence Day? Independence Day. Oh. I love that movie. Welcome to Tiger Belly. I love that movie so much. <laughs> so close. To can I? I have some trivia for Independence Day. Okay, yeah. tell me, tell me. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay, okay. um, in Independence Day, um, <laughs> in Independence Day, in the movie Independence Day, right? Independence Day. Uh, yeah. Um, what? What? Are, what main character died? Oh my God, the wife of the president. Yeah. Spoiler alert. All right. Um, let me ask you <laughs> this. Don't say it afterwards. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who plays the main scientist in Air Force? Not Air Force. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Jeff Goldblum. No, that, let me oh. finish. Oh. Area Fifty One. The Ooh, main scientist. The guy who escorts the president in? Yeah, yeah. But he's the main scientist down there. Oh, can you give me a clue? Um, He's in another sci-fi show. Oh, shit. I know. I see his face, you but I don't know. You guys are fucking it. losers, what is dude. It? Who is it? Brent Spiner. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. Data from Star Trek. Oh. Da, 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 da. Does Data from Star Trek die in the movie? Yes. How? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, he does. He dies, and the reason how he dies is that well, they have they you know um the black guy. What's his name? Will Smith. Yes, the black guy. <laughs> the, only the biggest, the uh, biggest after, movie. After I forgot his name. Biggest, I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah, star. the black guy, right? The military black guy. Yeah. yeah. What, what, okay, so he was an Air Force guy. Yeah. And he was in space. Not in space. He was in air. He was in the air. He was, in the- he was fighting. He was fighting. No, he was fighting the aliens. One of the aliens, right? Yeah. And then, um, the, what's the singer songwriter? What's the singer? His friend. Uh, He's a lounge singer or something. Harry Connick. Harry Connick. Connick. What's his Wait, name? Harry Connick, Connick Jr. Yeah. yeah, he's in it. Yeah. He played his buddy. His friend. Harry Connick dies. Yeah. They're in the space battle. Mm-hmm. No, they're air air battle. And then and then the black guy gets really angry. Will and then Smith. He, yeah, Will yeah, Smith. the black. Yeah. You, why yeah. can't you use his name? I refuse. <laughs> At this point, right? This point. And he's going pew, 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 in the air with the space, and then he shoots one down, I think. Mm-hmm. And then he he grabs one of the um, aliens. Uh-huh. He punches him in the face, uh-huh. right? He said, "Have a nice day" or something. Yeah. And punches him in the face, and then he drags this alien Across through the, the desert. desert. Yep. You remember that uh-huh. in a parachute. Yep. And he gets picked up by Randy Quaid's brother. Yep. Or was that the, Randy or Dennis Quaid? The, one of the Quaids. The one Dennis who believes Quaid. he got abducted Whatever, by aliens. Whatever that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then they make it to the military base, and then that one alien, um, he's still alive because they did surgery on him. Uh-huh. And then he came back alive, and then he took Brent Spiner and he killed him. So that's how he died. Do you, can I give you guys another <laughs> trivia? Well, um, Bobby actually auditioned for Aquaman. Yeah. And Ooh. the reason why his audition went really well is because they used um, the same lines. As um, a no, scene it didn't from go well. Independence Day, it didn't go well. Wait, Wait you set, memorized every I, word. It didn't go well, but I know. But, the but I, the, here's why it didn't go well, right? Because I, first of all, I love Independence Day. It's one of my favorite movies. I love everyone in it. Okay, the black guy. Uh, yeah, I love <laughs> Jeff. What's the president's name in it? Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Pullman. Mm. Jeff, it, Bi- Jeff Bill Pullman. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> Bill Pullman. Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox. Oh, yeah, a Fox in is in it, mm-hmm. right? That black guy, <laughs> the lounge singer. He's in it. Yeah. Right. The Quaid. Yeah. Data. I love it. Data's in it. But um, the thing is, is that I've seen the movie so many times that it, it they, the, the, the audition for Aquaman was all the lines from the movie Independence Day that the scientists. But I, since I'd seen the movie so many times that I did it the same exact way <laughs> and it didn't turn out well. I thought, I thought you had it in. The- if, I w- if I had it in the bag, I would have got the fucking movie, baby. Well, I think that if you had an Independence Day 2 audition, then yeah, you yeah. would kill it. No, but one of my dreams is to be in a... Um, like a, I love disaster movies. Everyone knows that, mm-hmm. right? I've seen all of them. I've seen Volcano. Yeah. Have you guys seen Volcano? Of course, with Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, it's the yeah, best. that's a classic. Oh, right, who plays the woman in it? The main Anne H. Lezzy. 
<laughs> yeah. Leslie. He rubbed, used to rub the vag with my producer. Oh. With George? No, my producer on Splitting Up Together, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh. oh. They yeah, rubbed yeah, yeah. vag, did they not? And they Scissor. started a fire Scissor. in West Hollywood years ago. <laughs> yeah. Because they rubbed so hard, <laughs> right? It lit up the fucking town. Do you guys know that? No. I hope my boss doesn't hear what I just said there. I know. But I don't want you to cut it out. Okay. All right, because that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I saw that today, and um, I, I was at the Ontario Improv, and a, a magic happened, guys. Pure magic happened. Well, first of all, um, <laughs> last week they called me and said no tickets were sold. Oh, this is gonna be the worst weekend of your life. God. All right, that's what they freak me out. They freak you out. The manager, my everyone freaks me out about. It. First of all, I'm a sick too. Just to let you guys know, I'm a sick too. And Kalila's very sick. I'm we got sicker. the cold. I'm a sickest. But anyway, um, so you know, I did one tweet. I go, "Help me, Tiger Belly people," and it every show was filled. And they did a magic. Yeah. And Adam, Adam Groutman. Backstory. The, so again. my so the backstory is remember, um, I used to live in Silver Lake, and I made fun of the guy that lived down the hallway from me, oh, yeah. Adam Groutman, the comedian. And I said he would come to my apartment, and he, he would hear I would hear his sets from his tape recorder, and they were not good. So anyway, he. He texted me about a month ago saying, like very tearful, and saying, you hurt my feelings, I've gotten better, this and that. So I go, you know what, why don't you open for me in uh, Ontario? So he showed up, Amazing. every show, five shows. And let me say something, um, he was entertaining. He was so nice. He's so nice. Didn't you feel bad that you had said that about him? I the did, Brody and, and, and here's the one thing that I did know about him, he's much better than George. <laughs> but he's been doing it more than for 20 years so he should be better give me 15 years I'm coming back. I, I, I know I'm you're coming, coming back, back. and then um, people showed up and um, it was a really mighty fine weekend I thought mighty fine you know and there's a lot going on in this country and I'm so sick I can't even deal with any of it really to be honest with you you know, I, you know, we don't talk about politics here and I'm not going to talk about it now because Kalila gets mad when I talk about it because you know, it's it's it's, it's, a, lose-lose. it's a lose-lose situation. It's 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 um. I, you know what George told me just now before the podcast is that I live in a mental re- prison. Mental prison, yeah. You said that I live in a mental prison. I'm just saying, let Kanye's tweets inspire you to break out of your mental prisons. Don't no. look at what he, like what he's tweeting. Look at like the what you can gain from what he's tweeting. If you live in a mental prison, break out of it. I don't live in a I don't live in a mental prison, you no fucking one lives in a mental prison. Our, no one lives in a mental fucking prison, dude. You yeah. know, I took some time, I was like, what mental prisons do I live in? You know, well let me ask you, I, let me ask you, how, how would I even know if I live in a mental prison? You just gotta think about it. What are one of yours? So I have Yeah, what are, yeah, why, how are you living in a mental prison? Uh I don't think big enough, you know? I'm thinking too small. I'm only thinking about like mm. next week. Think about five years from now. What's possible? Uh, what can I achieve? That's not a fucking prison. That's not, you a, fucking prison. It's not a prison? No. No, because I think that you should stay present. Maybe you're not thinking big enough, but I think that thinking too far ahead can be a huge I'm thinking detriment. about t- too small about what's possible. Oh, okay. That's the- I understand. Here's my mental prison. I Okay, yes. I have certain beliefs, and I know that other people have the opposite beliefs than I do, right? You know, I believe in, you know, I'm a bleeding heart liberal, and it's sad to say that I am. You know, I believe that, you know, we should be able to take some of our money and help others with it. Mm. I don't think I'll ever shake that. I believe that I I just have this inner paranoia that corporations and the people that are running this country are selfish and they're greedy and that they they don't share their wealth. And I want to put a kink in that. You know, I like when I see a movie, I like when the little man comes up. Underdog. Like when the black guy from Independence Day, he's a little man, right? <laughs> but him and Jeff, the guy from Jurassic Park. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Well, the, fly, the, fly, the, no, fly. the Fly. The Fly. The Fly. Yeah, so, you know, the black guy mm-hmm. from Pr- Friends Prince. Yeah. The Fresh Prince. You know, Prince, all, Prince, Fresh all, Prince, his work, yeah, you know yeah. all his work with Don't so Know Fresh the Prince and The Fly, right? <laughs> they got into a rogue, like, you know, abandoned and, and spaceship. That one, and that one jellyfish movie, the Blue Octopus Ring movie. Yeah, that. And they went up and they 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 harbored onto it not harbored but they latched onto the main mothership right and they put a virus in the spacecraft right mm-hmm. and they gave it a sickness mm-hmm. right and they able to escape and save the day right when I see movies like that I want the little man to come up the underdog all right and so, they would have never thought of that if they were in a mental prison of like what's possible 
I have a mental prison. What's your mental prison? Is it prison? in your nose right now? <laughs> yeah. It's really a, weird that you have a tissue a, coming out of your ghost. nose. Okay, there, I have two options. What? I can either, w- you can either watch my nose drip like a waterfall or I can plug it. It's natural though. I got to fucking plug it. I'm sorry. There is nothing, there, there is no recourse. No other recourse. My mental prison is I'm an idea machine, but mm. I cannot, I have no follow through. And the reason I don't have follow through is because I don't have, um, I'm so afraid to fail. Mm-hmm. Uh, not even just fail in general, but like for instance, yes, I think that perfect. in that sense, because I do have a perfectionist gene, you can't even fucking talk right. It's okay. That I cannot, I'd rather not know if I, if I'd rather not know the end of it because yeah. I already know it's not going to be perfect. So I don't even fucking try and I don't fucking, yeah. it drives me crazy. And I sit here and I just have a mountain of ideas and I'm sure you guys have known me long enough to get a lot of ideas. They're you're good. like, wow, Kalila, that's a lot. But then I never fucking put pen to paper. And I want to apologize to, um, God, I sound horrible. No, you sound great. I that's sound fucking and horrible. And because you just ignited something within my soul, my friend. Oh, good. Oh, my wow. girlfriend. You just ignited. <laughs> well, wait, she fuck? died. Yeah, she's, <laughs> dying. she's dying right now. She's dying. And we you ignited it. something within my soul, my friend. And what that is, is that you're right. I did live in a mental prison. But um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I yeah. saw something on the net and it opened my world up and I think I took a step out of my prison. What prison. Was, what was it? I was watching British Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to what I'm saying. Okay? I love I love watching um, talent shows oh, and yeah. voice shows. Everyone knows that mm-hmm. about me. And I was watching these two Vietnamese brothers. Oh, yeah. All right? <laughs> and you white people out there, well, you can call them whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. I know what. No, no, no. I don't think. <laughs> no, I know what they're trying to think in their heads. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you right now. Bobby knows. I know. All right. And these two good brothers are winners. And they're creative and they're strong and they're evolved and they're better than all of us. Tell us what they did on stage. And tell One us what brother, George Kimmel Okay, said. so I'm going to tell detail, you. In detail. So I was explaining to George earlier this week. <laughs> that I saw this and what the act was this eventually what happens is one Vietnamese Vietnamese brother (laughs) right goes on the head of another Vietnamese brother right (laughs) and he balances his what the way (laughs) what is what's a while what What are are you doing what are you doing is she sick what's happening yeah what's going sit down sit down what are you talking about (laughs) Kalila just fell off her chair for the audio what? Just the way Viennese? Said, yeah, no, you guys. Vietnam and <laughs> Okay. I'm so sorry. Hey, I don't know why I tomato, that tomato. Funny. Tomato, 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 friend. Oh, All right. So one Vietnamese brother I'm puts sorry. another Vietnamese brother on his head. <laughs> so basically, to imagine this. I don't even know how to explain it, but imagine one man standing there, right, and and another man, his the top of his head, mm. he's balancing the other man. And the other man's backwards, yep. right? And then he's walking around with his brother in that fashion. They go down these stairs, and then they go backwards up these stairs. I'm telling you right now, and I told that to George, and George says, me and Bryce can do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you offered that and you I, I, I said to I said, George, I yeah. said, I said to George, I said, I'll give you 40% of all income. Of all income I make <laughs> for the rest of my life. And if that, you and Bryce do could it. do that. In six months, though. In six months. And you said, yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. No f- head apparatus, nothing. We get exactly the same thing they have. If they have a head apparatus that's hidden by their hair, we get it. But no, but we don't they don't have it. a head apparatus there hidden. There is no head apparatus. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying, if they have one. They don't, they don't have one. But if they did. Okay, if they did, you could have the same thing they have. Okay. You get the exact same thing they have. Yeah. Right, but you have to do exactly what they did. Okay, Done. so okay, they got advanced to like the semifinals oh, or whatever. Nice. Yeah, no, they didn't. Oh, they didn't, but they no. got passed through, right? So, like, what is their next act aside from walking it's, around with his brother on his it's head? Tough. Well, How maybe do you, does he dance? You know, the dance. Maybe yeah, maybe there's more. Like he puts his him on his head. There's the third brother. It comes out. <laughs> yeah, and then the third the, brother. The top comes brother out. does the upside down running man. I don't know what it is. I I think they did. I think that what they did was. And that's the problem with those shows. Yeah. Is they show their best shit up front. Yeah. Then they get through and then they s- s- panic for two weeks. Well, what what else do we do? Yeah. Right? They probably get erection. They probably try different things to get erections and Balance try to balance each other with their dicks. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. 
But I don't know. Practicing, George. No, there's no way they can do it. Well, I I need to have it secured and like what Bobby will give us. I you know I got forty percent of all income he ever makes. I, okay. I don't want a renegotiation. As soon as we're getting close, it's like okay, thirty percent. You really believe? And this? then we. Wow. You you let me ask you so something. Confident. You fucking gangly ass white fuck. You really actually believe that you can do it with Bryce? You think you can balance Bryce on your head with the right amount of money? With the right motivation? Yes. Wow. Oh, and he also said it's because that him and Bryce are taller that they can balance better. Bryce is tall. It's better for uh, better for balance. No, I feel like if you're shorter, it's better. <laughs> yeah, shorter is better. That's what I thought. Yeah. Too. No. Yeah. yeah balance. Center, it's it's center of gravity. It, you're just better when you're shorter because you have you're stockier. It's like putting two. The bottom skinny person blocks. could be uh, maybe me, me tall, but I'm I'm. And I got who's great upside down? Who's the Bryce, bottom? Bryce, obviously, I'm stronger. Oh. Whoa! He's not even here to defend oh, himself. Yeah. He's not even here. He's too gangly, you know. He's got to be up there on upside down. Whoa! Well, you know what? I the, the reason why I gave you that idea is because um, I haven't had a big laugh in a long time, <laughs> like you know, a guttural, like I can't breathe kind of a laugh. And so I just wanted to set this up so that I could like just uh, you know set myself up for happiness, because there's no fucking way you're gonna be able to do it. Okay. There's no way. There's no way. But I want you to try. Please do that. Yeah. Please and please record it. Please every record day. it. Like the practice sessions, the rehearsals, the yeah. rehearsals. Yeah. Okay. What What are you thinking about? I'm thinking how to start. Where to get the Where to get a rope to get Bryce upside down? Just to practice like slowly with like within a few inches, you know, just like <laughs> get him hugging upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I love you it. You know, then like you know, but just like where I have like three inches, where if I lift up three inches, then we can practice like uh there, and then like slowly build up. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's yeah. great. Um, people wanted also us to talk about that movie, The Quiet Place, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We we did mention it last week or no? Week we, before, we're supposed to, but we had a guest. We had a guest, yeah. Um, well, on my rave review, I have a rave review of that movie. I think I I gave it an A, a solid A for that movie. Wow. I believe that that movie is um crafty, entertaining. Original. It's basically original. Ah! It's aliens on a farm. No, but the whole like you know sound thing. Yeah. Oh. I got it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop talking. I cannot stand how nasally my my voice is. So I'm just. Gonna it, what did you say before this podcast? Does it remind you of someone in particular? I what said, did you? Say? I said I can't stand hearing myself because I sound exactly like George. God damn it! <laughs> but can I just? I, I want to throw something out there. It's like, why don't you just go to an island? Oh, in the quiet place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would find like a little <laughs> island, and then you know. I feel like I. I think mm. they were just everywhere. That's the idea that I got, not really? just in that one place. Uh -huh. I think they were inescapable. And our military couldn't get them? Uh, I guess not. They just wiped everyone out, huh? They wiped, but there were still people that living there, right? Other camps. Yeah, yeah. But I, anyone, anyone, anyone listening to me, it's you know, that movie is the opposite of annihilation. I never. We, I didn't see. I that don't give a there. fuck what people say. You know, my I have a friend. I have now a guy. I, I go on YouTube. I go on YouTube and I listen to a guy named Chris Struckman. Mm -hmm. like he is a. I love him. He is a movie reviewer. Reviewer. My brother and I love him. I, I. I. And if I can get Chris Struckman here, in my podcast, anyone that knows him, he, I think he lives in Ohio. But I would love to have him. So if you know him, reach out. Oh, this guy's great. On YouTube. Yeah, he's a great YouTube guy. And he liked Annihilation. And, the, and you know what? I can disagree with him. Annihilation was pretty well acted, but it's basically the tree of life with aliens. Mm. It's just boring, and at the end, it doesn't make any sense. And you you can email me all you want and go, Bobby, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You, 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 you're you dumb, right? But I prefer, you know, just the fly. And... <laughs> And um, Prince, Fresh Prince, Prince, Prince doing their thing. I do. You know, <laughs> going back to the quiet place. Would you? Could do you think you could survive in that environment? Oh, uh, my farts alone would that's, kill. That's us. what I was trying to think. Like, how would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you have to put like, an oxygen fart. mask in your butt to fart into it, or what? <laughs> well, what I would do is probably. Yeah. You know what? No, I know exactly what I would do. How would you survive? Oh, I, already, well. I already know what I would okay, do. Well, I, already, I fart into a towel, like because, I have like a no, fart chamber. No, 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 no. What I would do is this, and this is <laughs> very, very good. So I would put. Yeah. You know, um, like a dildo in my butthole, but okay. it's listen, listen, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's hollow, so it's like a flute. But not not a flute where it's gonna whistle. But you want it the shape of a penis, though. Yeah, no, it's just no. Just listen to what I'm saying. Okay. A straw, but much thicker and bigger, 
and just so keep the hole constantly open right because what makes the fart sound because this is what i do in bed i cup my fingers yeah. i spread my butthole apart same here yeah. with my fingers and i it seeps so when she's sleeping it goes like that right so i would constantly have Your just something in my butt all. and then hopefully like over time it'll just be an open, open gap hole. So your shit you know? just flies out your ass all day? Yeah. So it would just come out like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It would be like that. Oh. Like that, yeah. Oh, I could see those monsters being like, that guy's, why does he have something up his butthole? <laughs> <laughs> or they could just follow my shit. Yeah. <laughs> he went this way, you know what I mean? The trail. Yeah, yeah, but, um, so that would take care of my farts. I'm pretty loud. Snoring, though. Snoring. Snoring, oh, too. Fuck. Well, I would just put something on my nose like this, no? You know how they put that baby in that like That's what like, I would do. Um, I would I would hyperbaric chamber. I would live like I would live like a vampire. Mm. I would be in a casket. Oh, then you would do all the forging for like Oh, I'm a forager, yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty easy. I think you you'd live underground, right? You you'd sleep in a casket. How about laughing? Oh, that's I a would hard not, one for me. Well, it's hard to laugh when people are dying. Mm. It really is. There's no laughter. But w anytime anyone tells me that I'm not allowed to laugh, I feel the urge to laugh. Yeah. I think that if death is on around the corner, I think that that would like nix it. Mm. Like I laughed at like I've laughed at every funeral I've ever been in. Yeah. It's just my Defense. and it's not because I'm evil It's because, um, you know, years ago, my aunt died and Stevie Weeby and I were at the funeral. And this is when I was in high school. And we were sitting there and people were crying. And you heard this, knock, knock, like that. It's like somebody knocked something over or something, right? And I turned to Steve and go, she's, she's alive. Or so, I said something. Oh, man. And my, and my brother goes, ah! Like, and he starts laughing. And we both started laughing. And that was not good. What did people around you do? I mean, they already knew that we were like kind of evil. Yeah. Yeah, you our, know, yeah. the same thing happened. Um, my dad didn't have a full service when he passed away, but he had some friends from his, like an old, like um, born again Christian church. Remember I was, I was welcomed to America by mm -hmm. like a large um, a group of um, Nigerian people who ran this like born again Christian church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, um, this woman insisted that she come over to her house and he had his ashes on the table and she insisted that she was going to sing a song in honor of my dad and um i think it was her name was sister clarice or something like sister pam or something like that and she her rendition of amazing grace had my sister and i in tears that bad laughing it, I'm telling you laughing and we had a really small apartment yeah, yeah. but she's like brother Edgar we miss you homie like, 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 yeah. like, I and I was so like grief stricken but in that moment my sister and I like we were pinching each other so that we wouldn't laugh but I was holding my breath in because I was it was the funniest thing I had ever heard in my life she was so horrible I mean look at Kalila Look how far she's come. Just let, let's hear what I'm saying. Look how far, look how look how far she's come. She's getting laughs on her own. Listen, just listen. No, listen, listen. I love look, the whole look, review. Look how far she's come. I love the whole review. No, no, yeah, You're she's getting laughs. No, I'm not petrified. Okay. She's getting laughs on her own, right? Great. She's taking her time. She's confident. She yeah. knows that she's gonna get a laugh, right? Amazing. She wait. She commits to the fucking punchline, <laughs> right? And look at her on the Theo Von Prop pilot. Uh, oh, shut on Comedy Central. Did you see it? What did I text you? The reviews. Yeah. What did you text? I texted Kalila. No joke. Not being completely serious. You fucking killed it. On the she show, killed natural. it. Yeah. Natural. I was being myself. I know, but you. Wait, no, you turn it Look at what she's doing now. <laughs> she's blowing up. She's she's now getting but the confidence. It's hard to you be guys. yourself in front of camera and sometimes, like, and you and did she it. And she said in the car the other day, she, "You think I should go on?" No. <laughs> and I go, and I go, I go, I go. <laughs> yeah, you did. You fucking and I, and I go. I did not say what do you mean? That. Like I think it maybe. I go maybe. <laughs> No, that's I not go, maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now, why I wait can. a couple years from now, right? Oh. She's gonna be on a series, you know. Oh, We're not working. She oh my died. god, we created a monster. Would you consider it though? Uh, no. You did it really very good. I, I thought it was good. What did was, you? You were very funny. What too. did well, I send you thanks, after you said? Face. After you said, "Hey, um, you should work for One FC." Oh yeah. What did I send you? 
back. What text did I send you? Oh, I can't because of my anxiety and I'd sweat all the time. I know, but what picture did I send you? Oh, your nasty wet foot. Exactly. Yeah. It's impossible for me to. Um, it's not impossible. You look dry. Function. You look dry. You look very dry in the thing. Module. I was very not. Very dry. But if you, you have a chance, it's on right the Comedy Central Please watch website. It, yeah. It's very it's good. Man up. Man up. So funny. Yeah. We did the opening. Was our the opening episode? I don't uh, think so. There was a couple before There's us. There's only three episodes yeah. out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've been getting a lot of rave reviews on it. Dude, you and the kid, you yeah. and that lady was so. You're funny. really good with children. <laughs> yeah, kids. Like wow, well, I'm like a you know like a, like a young Will no, Smith. No, they, they get it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you I mean, if you look at the start, yeah, the splitting up together photo with um, Xander <clears throat> jumping on me and me hugging was like a photo that they took. Go to splitting up together uh, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. and there's a photo where the, the youngest kid jumps on me and we laugh. Right? Kids generally, you know, I think like me, right? I I do because my intentions are pure. You know, I think that they see the kid in me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they know that there's no like Chris Hansen motive. Chris. Chris Hansen from uh, Catch, 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 a Predator. Oh, Catch, Catch a Predator. Predator. There's none of that going on. No. I have a question. What? Just random. Um, yes. I get a text. How do you say in English, like you know, when when a movie is uh, when a movie doesn't have a proper ending, it kind of leaves you hanging. How do you say that? Like, did, have you seen Infinity War yet? Yeah. Okay, in my language, my niece is asking me, Ate Kalai, what's bitin in English? Like, kuwang lang bitin ka yung movie, meaning, like, how do you say that in English? Because she's trying to explain uh, it to an American boy she's going hanger. on a date with. She's, what? She's going on a date? Well, it's a guy oh. who's asking her on a date, an yeah. American boy. She doesn't know how to explain that the movie was like, yeah. is it a cliffhanger? Cliffhanger. But is that what? It's called cliffhanger. Okay. But let me say something. Every single person that I've talked to about that movie said it's the best out of all the movies. Is it true? Uh, you're talking about Infinity War? No, I'm talking Quiet. about fucking Apocalypse Now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about The Quiet Place. Yeah, so. I'm talking about the if, fucking Infinity War, you fucking cocksucker. It's only the best one if you if you uh, put the time in to watch all the other ones. The payoff is greater if you watch. If I've you seen see all of them. Ask me Ask me a question. Okay. Uh, what is the actor's name in Black Panther that plays? No, that, that's not that's not a, a storyline thing. Okay, what is the... I don't know anyone's what, name. What, I, I don't even know... I barely knew Will Smith's name. I called him Black Guy <laughs> from oh, the Fresh Prince. What, who was the villain in uh, the first Avenger, Captain America first Avenger? The villain of the Captain America? Yeah, the actor was Hugo Weaving, but what's the character's name? Decepticon. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think you'd like it. Wait, but Why you would I, I don't even know it now, you fucking <laughs> cocksucker? Yeah, but if you've seen all of them, yeah, you'll just know. It's a lot of a lot of payoff. If you haven't seen any of them, you'll be like, I mean, I've the worst seen them all. I, I think I, I can watch it and go, okay, I kind of get the gist of it. But I heard it was great. It was great. The Russo brothers did it. Kill, you worked with them? They did Animal Practice. Oh yeah, that's right. So I was on a sitcom called The Animal Practice yeah. with Justin Kirk and Anthony Russo and his brother Joe. Yeah. You know, were the producers of it. I auditioned for Anthony. He called NBC and just said, just hire him. I did animal practice, got canceled. And now they're the, they're like, they did, they did, um, Captain. Uh, just listen, uh -huh. Captain America, um, Winter Winter. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. I call it Winter Winter. 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 I call it Winter Winter. <laughs> Double Winter. Yeah. Civil, civics case. Civil War. Whatever. <laughs> civics right, so case. I saw Civics case and Winter Winter. Yeah. Great movies. Mm -hmm. And the Russo brothers did that. Mm -hmm. And then they did this one, Infinities. Oh, you might get a cameo then in a future month. No. Ooh. They do it. They give it to all people they've worked with. <laughs> they not me. They're going they're going backwards in their timeline. Well, they use Danny, I know that. Yeah. Right? I did, I did his pilot. Which you one? know Danny and Sung Kang? Yeah. Oh, from they, Fast and the Furious. What's the show? I saw a picture. I did I did a I did a um their pilot. A guest or and I had two lines and then my <laughs> arm breaks and then blood spews on Danny's face and that was my scene oh wow but it was so funny because I love Sung Kang mm -hmm. you know if you ever see um, the Korean dramas I did on Matt TV Sung Kang is the star of it main star he's a good looking Korean dude but he's in the Fast and Furious yeah. the Tokyo Tokyo Han yeah, yeah Han right and he's one of the nice, he used to own a restaurant in Brentwood I used to go to all the time a Japanese restaurant or something with his wife but he asked me to do it and um, at first at first I'm gonna whisper because I don't want to so no hear what hear I'm saying it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but at first I didn't want to do it 
because you know it was a small thing but then he texted me and then I had to do it <laughs> so I, I did it I was forced to do it I did it you can't say no I can't say no to people when was the last time you said no to a project never well no he can't say no if they personally call him oh. yeah if I if they personally call me like I have an audition I'm not gonna say what it is but tonight after we're done with this I have to put myself on tape with George and I, at, at first I wasn't gonna do it mm -hmm. but then the, the star of it and the writer of it contacted me. contacted me personally and goes can you do it and I'm like I, I'll do it and I don't want to do it not because I, it's because of the fact that I just I'm lazy mm. That's You're all. gonna do it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> She's gonna, I'm gonna, gonna fucking gonna do, do it. it. I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah. But um, poor Kanye. Why poor Kanye? I just don't like what he's doing. But do you want know. me to read through some of the hot topics and you have one word answers? Yeah, Why did you just that. make that up? Uh, no, we did not pre-plan this beforehand. So what are you doing? I'm gonna. So wait, tell me what the game is. So I'm just gonna read a, a headline. Yeah. Or just uh, give you a word and then you can respond your opinion only in one word. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> Go ahead. North Korea, South Korea. Rainbow. Mm. Not good? Yeah. Kanye, uh, Trump tweets. Uh, deception. Michelle Wolf, White House Correspondence Dinner. U turn. <laughs> Stormy Daniels. Loose. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> NBA playoffs. California. <laughs> California. Yep. And that was hot takes with Bobby <laughs> that was Lee. A great, you know what? We're gonna do every this, week. Yeah, every, every week. week. <laughs> it, do a theme song to it. Hot takes. Hot takes. That's it. That's it. So guys, we're doing hot takes every week. Submit your hot take headlines. Bobby will give his hot takes. Yeah. Oh my God, they were good. That was good. California. You, people think that I'm dumb. People think that I don't read up. Wait, hold, I, who is uh, who's playing right now though? Who is? Just give me at least one team that's in the you know. NBA okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let me let me throw one out. Okay, mm -hmm. um, Golden State Nuggets. <laughs> oh, you had it. <laughs> you had so no, 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 no. The Golden State, the the, the California one. Yeah, I know, but what yeah. is it? They're not Nuggets. That's Denver, babe. Oh yeah, I'm okay. Okay, oh yeah, they, they're the Golden State. Give me the first word. W. The Golden State Wander. Ooh, no, the that's one. A good no, guess, the the one Golden State. Um, what is it? No, just say it. Warriors. Oh, I like the Golden State. I like Golden State Nuggets. Nuggets. Yeah, Golden State Nuggets. <laughs> and then who, who else? Who else? Okay, what about the um, Indiana? India Pacers. Ooh, Ooh I got clutch for that. Yeah. Clutch, clutch. clutch. Wow. Give me another one. Just yeah, just say the city. Yeah, yeah. See if he gets Give me the thing. cities. Orlando. Magic. Wow. See, no. you're not that bad. No, you give me another one. Give me Sac all the teams. Sac Fuck them. I think you might know I, all of them. I, I want to see. My, I, wanna, I really want to see what's football. Like, give me football what? and basketball. Okay, Sacramento. Hey. What for? What? Well, do you want to just do playoffs? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's do playoffs. What, what sport though? This is all basketball. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so Utah, Jazz. Wow, wow. that's a good one. Uh, I just didn't know Golden State to be. How about this? Uh, Portland Trailblazers. He knows. Ooh, he does. That he one's does. easy. Yeah. Sports. All right, Scotty Pippen, baby. Was he in that? I, I almost think, believe that. I don't like, think he is. I don't think he was. Wait, yeah. you know what? Sandy Danto talked about Scotty Pippen. I don't know. I obviously we don't know. We know. So Scottie, no, Scotty Pippen was Chicago Bulls. I know, Chicago but Bulls. he was. You know why you thought that? Why? Because we were with, with Sandy Danto in, in Portland. Portland, and he was talking about. Um, See, it's all associated. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Associated. Yeah. I'll give me some football teams. Okay, uh, we'll start pretty easy. L.A. Uh, babe. The Los Angeles. What? There's different ones. Okay, well, two. But name the both. Rams. Good. Uh -huh. Los Angeles um, Chargers. Yeah, I guess technically, yeah. It yeah, technically, weird, yes. But yeah. yeah, it used to be San Diego. Yeah. And then Los, that's it. Uh, Chicago. What? The, the, the football team? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the Bears. Good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a, that one's easy. New York. Which one? Yeah, okay, Ooh, both. I both. love this. He's like, Jets? Which one? Uh -huh. Good. And? New York Patriots. No, 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 no Buffalo. No. Buffalo Bulls. Bills. No, that's no, also no. good, too. That's yeah. a good team. Yeah, that's a good team. Buffalo Bills. New York Jets, New yes. York Giants. Yes. Boom. New England, you know that. Patriots. Yes. Uh, Cleveland. Oh. Browns. Dang. Dang. He even knows the deep cuts. Well, I played Tecmo Bowl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've played games. You the, know, the, the Houston. I, 
What? Houston. Houston Oilers. They, yep, that's yeah, Techno that's Bowl. Techno yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Is it, they're not Houston Oilers anymore? No. no. What are they? Uh, uh, Texans. Well, but, but the here's Oilers where you're, left yeah. and you, became you guys somebody fucked else up because then... those are old teams. Yeah. Yeah. The new ones, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. I... There are new ones, like Carolina know. Panthers. Oh, but see, you know it. Now That's what just, they're called? Now you're just showing off. Now you're just showing off. Is, is that what they're called? There's new ones like the Carolina <laughs> Panthers. Is that what they're called? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, here's where you're going to get in trouble. Okay. Hockey. That's tough. Uh, Hockey, I yes, don't know. okay. Give know me some. Um, let's see. Over here, Chicago. Uh, Blackhawks. Yes, but he knows enough because he played hockey. Oh, what? what? You don't know I played ice hockey? We've never talked about this on the podcast. And can I tell you something? He is an amazing ice, like a figure skater. We've never what? talked about yeah. this. He is elegant on when, the When ice. did you play hockey? Listen, everyone listen to right now, okay? <laughs> Papa, right? The slut king, Athletic. right? He's a king, correct? Yeah. Yes. Kings know things, yes. all right? And I have physical attributes that people don't even fucking know. Yes, I'm shaped like a dumpling. Right? Yes, I'm round, mm. all right? And fat, mm. right? But Papa can ice skate. Pa Papa can play tennis. Mm -hmm. He can oh. play ping pong. And he also can play, Um, he can wrestle. Can I also tell you guys something? Please. Look in the closet. He has his own pair of skates. Yeah. I have a pair of hockey skates. Bowers. Yeah. How long did you do that for? Play hockey? Since I was five. Whoa. Yeah, I play ice hockey. I can skate backwards. I know how to play. I know the rules. We went and to um, Adam Sandler's Christmas party at the Pickwick about four years ago. And Bobby <laughs> brought his own skates because he thought that in his head that if he was impressive on the ice that he could be friends with Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler. Wait, were you going to just skate at a party? <laughs> well, I, did, I didn't think... I, what was no, it? Was like all right, stop, 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 All right. Number one, okay. It's not as if I don't... Like, if you asked Adam Sandler who's Bobby Lee, he would know who I am. Of course. I've just had, like, limited discussions with him. And yes, I thought that if I was, like, jazzing it up on the ice, right? But I didn't yes. realize. <laughs> I didn't realize that ten thousand people go to his Christmas party. Oh, it's not like a small. thing. No, no. when they asked me, they're like, "You want to go to Adam Sandler's oh, Christmas party?" Like, I go, "There's gonna be like fifty people there. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I'm bringing my own ice skates." He made me fucking drive to like Thousand Oaks to get his fucking skate sharpened. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was the only guy who brought his own skate. Yeah, yeah, and I did backward skating. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't run into him once at the party. He did an eagle. At his own party? No, he had he his band played. Yeah. So they were in this one place where everyone was, and then we were just at the ice skating rink. But it was still a fun fucking party. It was. How fun was that? So fun. Yeah, there was like little video games and little sections that you go, and um, a lot of comics, and it was fun. I can't wait to you throw the Bobby Lee party. When you is know that what? The, you know, I used to have a um. You know, there used to be a spaghetti factory. Yeah. I, I've, I've yeah, talked yeah, about yeah. this before. I would love to do a gigantic Tiger Belly birthday party this prom, September. Prom, babe. We decided on a prom. No, I want I want to go to a place, mm -hmm. and this is the real. I want Maybe we'll try a Buco de Pepe at the Universal City Walk. I've done it there also. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. For a birthday? I want to do a birthday party where certain members of Tiger Belly fans can go, like the diehard ones. Like a, it's, is it like a lottery? It's not just a lottery. Maybe people need to do like a um an essay, a video submission, or something. a video submission or an essay. Mm -hmm. But we 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 do fifteen people, twenty people, and then we'll invite maybe a hundred and fifty comics guests. Crazy celebrity, right? Party. And have a big rent out a big section Buca of Buca de Pepo. You know what I mean? You'll have to spend some of my money, but that's fine. I like festival, yeah. festive things, and I think this September is the right time to do it because. Papa's Honest Network sitcom. Papa, um, that show, I think it's going to get picked up. Can we also do a prom then? Because I want you a prom really want redo. Prom. Well, what do you mean a prom redo, I bitch? Just, I, I, need, <laughs> I need a reason to get into a ball gown again. Then do it on your own, bitch. I ain't going to do it with We're you. We're going to do a prom, right? Yeah, you're going to yeah, do one absolutely. on your own, lady. Fuck. And you're going to be my date. I ain't going to go shit, bro. Prom yeah. king. Prom king, though. Look at her, she's demanding she because she's an actress now. Wow, wow fancy! <laughs> uh. Next week, Bobby, she was actually really. She was actually really good in it. Yeah. No, she yeah. killed. I she told killed it. it. Okay, okay. I I want to take the credit, but also you guys. Yeah. It wasn't like I was playing a character. I was playing Stop. myself. Stop! You were playing a character because if you were, when people try to play themselves, they try they overdo it. You 
like if someone doesn't know you, you're like oh that girl is just being real right now yeah your you, yourself is you a character as a, 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 also okay well then thank you yeah it was pretty I'll good also yeah. roger wasn't that bad roger either. wasn't that bad <laughs> either <laughs> i was like okay yeah. Can you, okay, there were so many gems, actually, before we continue with this, we're gonna take a, a, a second with our, for our sponsors. Blue Apron, the tastiest food you'll ever stick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I love it. We've been on Blue Apron for years now, and I feel like my body is getting um, stronger. My bones are stronger. Whoa. My uh, ligaments are more elastic. Damn. And it is very clean, delicious food. Come, it comes to your doorsteps, and it's easy um, ingredients and easy um, um, recipes. But it, when you put it in your mouth, it's gourmet. Tell them about it. Last night, I cooked Bobby a wonderful meal of General Tso's chicken mm. with jasmine rice so and bok right. choy. And how did it taste? I th literally thought it was from Mr. Chow's. Like the, wow. the, yeah, the best fucking Chinese food you could ever fucking have. That's high praise. Right, so um, I thought it was Mr. Chow's. I go, uh, Mr. Chow's is open right now? She goes, no, it's Blue Apron. I go, oh, Blue Apron is killing it with the Chinese food. I'll tell you that right now. Asian certified. Yeah, it's so good. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com. Blue at blueapron.com slash belly. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Oh my gosh, I love me some Blue love Apron. Love Blue Apron. Yum, yum. Yeah, I love it. Uh -huh. What were you saying, Kalila? I forgot. What was I saying? <laughs> well, before our sponsor, you were talking about, uh, we were talking about Roger. Oh yeah, because Roger, I mean, if you guys saw how, how the whole thing that was filmed between Bobby and Roger, Bobby was verbally abusing him. It was the funniest thing like I had what? ever seen at the table, calling him like a draft dodger. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh like he's weak, you know, yeah. what I mean? you know what I mean? They didn't put any of that in. Yeah, they didn't put any of that in, and it was weird, but you know what? That's not our responsibility. No, because they had to condense it for that but format. It's so. that. It's just like, you, know, you do a lot of things, and you try things, and they cut it out. Yeah. That's just the name of the game. Also, when Theo and I were talking here on the couch, Theo was saying some, I couldn't keep a straight face. Maybe that's mm. why they couldn't put that part in. You didn't laugh once in that whole thing. That's I why know, I bought it. But I'm telling you right now, I laughed hysterically so many times because he would just like off the top of his head. You know how he talks. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to get him back. We got to get him back. I love him. So yeah, we been, love Theo Vaughn. It's been more than a year. We're, we get him back. No, I'm being real. Yeah. yeah. Are you being sarcastic? No, like, we should get him back. Okay, good. <laughs> I want him. Did you go out a lot on pilot season? I never asked you. Pilot season, yes and no. What I mean, well, what's going on? Towards the end. Well, I'm trying to sell three shows. Yeah, but you didn't go out at all or no? I did go out. There well, wasn't a lot of good roles for this type. And right. a lot of stuff was offered this year. They to were? Celeb uh, to people with a lot of credits. Wow. So, so that's how they're doing it now. A lot of the new kids were like, which we were going crazy, like going out like for everything last year. This year was like, not really and if you were new it was all the indian people there were a lot of indian pilots oh really it was like the hottest asians right now are indians oh wow three like indian pilots yeah there's three indian pilots yeah that's cool because you didn't go out a lot no but after uh more probably guest star auditions after that after yeah. pilot season i really just been thinking about you and um i really really seriously need you to make it here I he's will. he's he's carving his own path though because he's just yeah. writing his own. Yeah, yeah. I just really stuff, need yeah. you to um step it up a bit. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> what else is going on with you? Uh, I don't man. ever talk to you. You know when you come into my house, right? And you come in, you give me a pound with your wart hand. Why well, not? Just that, listen. That's the wart hand. And um, you're very been distant lately toward me. You don't call distant. me. You don't really talk to me. Well, one time I texted you, you did not respond. But that's just a given. It was on your birthday. Oh my bad. Yeah, I put I put a I wrote your name on my butt cheek and I sent that. <laughs> and you sent me a thing. Yeah, remember I, I sent a thing of like congratulating you or something, your birthday or like the show. And I please don't show that on the camera. Yeah, but have I, I'm not going to. But have I hurt you? No. You I've never hurt you. What do you mean hurt me? Like physically? No, I have ever like you know just made you mad where you went oh fuck that guy. Uh, when we first met, but I then, know we got in a fight once. But then I realized that was like. Wait, what was the fight? Remember, uh, it was like episode sixty something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We threatened to leave or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, a power, we, it was a power we're beyond move. that now. But we, no, yeah, no, not. I've never felt hurt by you. I really haven't. Do you love me? I talked to my mom about this. No, do you love me? No, I'm telling you, I talked to my mom. Oh my I, god, I do. Do you love me more though? 
<laughs> no, be, I want you to be completely honest. I this is a time and place for it because so, I might not ask you again. Blue apron is <laughs> no, no. I I love both of you. No, do you love me more though? I probably we're closer, so I probably love you. Yeah, her thank more. you. Yeah, but, and uh, no, listen, and, and, and and that's the truth, and that's fine, and I can take it, and I love it because it's honesty. Yeah, but can I just say this? Yeah, right. That's here now. But do you love her more than me? No. What? <laughs> I love you the same. What? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. I love you more than. I didn't know that. I love you the same. All I'm, right. I feel bad. Then. <laughs> I'm kidding, babe. Come on. No, hey, he's being serious. Hey, babe. Come hey, on. I'm right Delilah, here. Delilah, he's being serious. Hey, he baby. loves this. Hey, hey, babe. Delilah, twinsies. Who do you love more? Twinsies. George. Uh, you, I, Kalila. Thank you. Wow, he's gonna remember that too now. So for all you motherfuckers that think I'm a bitch. Yeah. I. You know, here's the thing. Out, here's, I'm not. Here's the thing. I know that BuzzFeed put out that thing of the best podcast, celebrity podcast out there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Do you know that? No. Yeah, they put... Um, did you did you say motherfuckers instead of mother frickers? Oh, he's... Oh, what is that Ooh, shirt? Wait, George. what is that shirt? Nothing, just my new favorite shirt. George's oh, shirt says, this guy, God. this guy loves that fan. Have you been wearing that the whole time? Where'd you get that shirt? He made it. I know he made it. Dude, there's a lot of great merch available online, my friend. No. Yes. Over 20 options. And that what, 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 that one says what? This from guy loves, loves that fan. That fan. And it has two thumbs up, dude. Wait, hold on. Is that from his website? No, there's some other. Uh, it's not. It might be Teespring or something else like that. So people a lot are just of awesome options. Wow. What are some of them? You know, those are all coming because of uh, this podcast. Um, what is it? Uh, Dat fan knows. Yes, he does. He does know. <laughs> true. Uh, true. Yeah. It's just all basically every cliched shirt from the '90s, just with that fan in it. Oh, I love that's it. Great. That fan Coca-Cola logo. That oh, fan. great! Oh man, yeah. I gotta get one. Order me one, medium. <laughs> oh shit! What? Order me one, medium. We fucked up. What? what? Oh, um. So we we made me nervous. No, we were supposed to be wearing a certain shirt today. Remember from the woman with the um son who is a nonverbal. Where are the shirts at? Suki Suki. Yes, that Where are the one. At? Fuck, Where Eileen, are they? I fucked up. They're in um, they're in the bedroom. But now it's too late. We can't wear it now. We'll do it next week. Okay. We're next, we're next well, week. backstory. Um, um, a woman named grab Eileen. The <laughs> grab the shirt. No, no, no don't grab it. It's fine. We'll do it next week. A woman named Eileen emailed us. <laughs> And said that she listens to Tiger Belly constantly around her house, and her son Jameson is um, um, nonverbal autistic, and the only thing that he um, he apparently he loves our intro song with you singing gibberish, and he walk, goes around the house demanding that his mom play the Suki Suki song. Mm. So she made shirts. Um, with the word Suki Suki in honor of Jameson and in honor of his love for your music, babe. And we were supposed, she came to your Ontario show and she gave us shirts and we were supposed to wear it in honor of Jameson and we did not. I failed. We'll kids, do it next week. Kids really do love you. I said a joke this weekend and I, and this, uh, the, the, there was a, I looked, I, I improvised a joke and then the look on a lady's face when I said it broke my heart. Really? Was like, cause she was like with me the whole time, and then I said it. I said, "I love going on a girl, going down on a girl, especially when they queef, especially when they're on their period, because it sprays on your face, <laughs> right?" <laughs> and then I, you look like Tyler Durden, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And then I said that joke, and I looked down at her, and you can just tell her that she just, her, she just shut down. Oh. Why? And she was like, "I want to get out of here." It made me so sad. Maybe she has PCOS and she's sensitive about not getting her period. Maybe she's. What are we into time? This is a weird one, huh? Uh, no, we're uh, almost about at fifty. Dang, babe, that's hella short. Let's keep talking. <laughs> I'm we sick. didn't even hit an hour. I'm sick. You're just sick. Okay, hang on. Here's what no, I'm don't, nervous don't, about. Yeah, but don't. Be, but now, what are we doing? I'm nervous about something. <laughs> What are we doing we now? Have, you and I have to do your mom's house with Tom Segura and Christina Pasitsky. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're both sick. Yeah. I don't know how I can George hang is sick too. with either of them. You coming with us? Uh, If you want me to. How are we getting there? I, I can drive. Okay, Wait, we gotta I'm go. sick. Hey, I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we're doing Tom Segura's show. It'll be fine. No, we're, I'm going to be a disaster. There's, no, no. They're gonna, they're, I love those two. They're two funny got people. And it'll be great. Listen, guys, not, listen to me right now. Not everything has to be perfect. 
Never. Not everything has to be the way people want it to be. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, did I want to talk about Independence Day? No. <laughs> you know I mean, Do did I, I want to talk about, is? you know? But we did. Yeah. And that's life. Well, then let's just get to the questions then. Go ahead. We'll do two. Okay. On Helpful Advice with Bobby, Kalila, and George. <laughs> Hello, the Tiger Belly crew. I'm a big fan of the podcast. Actually, the only podcast I listen to. I emailed you because I came across this YouTube video involving an interracial couple, and I wanted to hear Bobby and Kalila's opinion on this. A Korean man, Justin, <coughs> is in a relationship with a Sudanese Filipino fem uh, female, Sarah. Justin brought Sarah to meet his parents unannounced. The parents did not approve, especially the mother, and would not let Sarah into the house nor talk to her. In my opinion, we live in a great diverse society that has many different cultures, religions, and race. Definitely in our generation, we were raised in a multicultural society. It allowed us to appreciate the difference between cultures, provide us with an open eye perspective to other parts okay. of the world, and engage in a diverse group. As a second generation immigrant, I am very accepting to interracial relationships. Okay, I'm, question okay, is, the question. when Bobby first introduced Kalala to okay. his parents, what was their reaction? I, I want you to say this. How okay. accepting were they? It's the guy's fault. The Korean guy. Yeah, I'll tell you why. You you think that my brother and I right have liberal parents? No, they're traditional Koreans that have fucked up views about society, right? Uh, we hate Filipino. We you know all growing up we yeah. hate Indian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only Korean number one, right? <laughs> yeah. With the finger. Yeah, Korean number uh, one. <laughs> black people should not be president. Yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah, right. And you look at your parents and you go, if you, if you don't change that right now, I'm never talking to you again. That's fucking crazy. And then they realized through years of us just being like, you know, being gay is fine. Okay, it's fine then. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You you train them. You know, you, you, they're, they're an extension of you, your parents. And, and if like, if, if my parent, if my dad said, oh, I'm going to vote for Trump, Right? I just be like, all right, well, we're done. I'm done. They know that. No, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna abide by the rules set out for us. <laughs> that all men are e created equally. There's no difference, right? Being gay is an abomination. They're you're just born that way because of fuck, right? And this guy didn't train his parents. Because let me say this right now: if I brought my fucking girlfriend, this fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Island gook, right? <laughs> this island gook to my house. And I go, hey, mom and dad, this is Kalila. Oh, she don't go inside. Well, I'm not going inside, and I'll see you later. And we'd get a hotel room, and I'd eat her pussy in that hotel room, right? Yes. I think you know what? You're right, because I think that you told her I was Filipino. Yeah. But you didn't tell her I was half. Yeah. Because when she saw me, she goes, oh, I thought you were Filipino, but you're so pretty. Yeah. And as if like a Filipino couldn't otherwise be, and I was like, "Oh, thanks." Yeah. Now, if she was ugly, that's a different. That's <laughs> that's different. Also, knighting her pussy. <laughs> but it, it no, it, like here's what it not ugly. What I'm saying is, is that my parents here's what here's what they want, right? They don't care necessarily about race, you know, or they care more about w their heart what their heart is like. So it's like when Kalila was helping my dad with his medical stuff, waking up early, and really trying to engage with them, they get what that is. And they go, oh, this is a good person. You know, my my ex-girlfriend, Christine, she's a nice girl, and I'm not saying anything bad. She's married now, and very happy for her. But she was a little standoffish with my parents, and they were fine with her, but they, they didn't fall in love with her like they fell in love with Kalila. They really love Kalila, like an extension. They loved um, mm -hmm. Sarah because Sarah's much like Kalila in that way. I think that your mom likes easy people. Yes. She likes people who are like, just go to the living room, squat on the floor, low maintenance. Yeah. And if Sarah seems like she was probably very similar. She's very similar like, in that way, low maintenance, well. yeah. But, um, but there was, again, there was nothing wrong with Christina. You know, she was a cool girl, you know? There just wasn't that connection, you know? Um, I think this guy, um, if I was that guy, I would just be like, well, 
I'll see you later, mom and dad, and just move on with his life. I know it's difficult to do, and I know that sounds crazy, but to me, I, I it's embarrassing. Mm. It's like when, you know, I, I talk to white dudes, yeah, my parents voted for Trump. It's just like, oh. But that just would not happen with my parents. Because, you know. What if you went home and then you saw, like, an old, like, ballot or whatever, like a stub? Like, let's say they had receipts. <laughs> Who they voted for. And you saw that the, all this time they'd be like, Bobby, we didn't vote, we didn't vote, but they actually voted for Trump. Like, what would what would happen after that? Well, I would probably go, did you vote for Trump? And they would say, oh, yeah, okay, we did, we did, right? Okay, I'm fine with it. And they go, really? I go, yeah. Um, you guys don't have cell phones anymore, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can't communicate with the outside world. No, I mean, because I pay for their cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> So that's cut off. Yeah. They go, okay. And I go, and the $4,000 I send you every month, that's done. Oh, but yeah. Bye. Mm. That's how, and that, and that, that sounds crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. But I think I believe that. I stand by it. I don't think now, you, go I, ahead. I don't think you could. <laughs> Do what? Cut your parents off. I don't think so either. I think you, you love would your parents love too much. From everything you talk about, you love your parents too much. I'm the same way with mine. Let me I, think. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> revisit. Revisit. Yeah, maybe you're right. You, yeah. you love them too much. It's a, that's a tough, condition that's a, that's a tough one. Well, um, I guess I lose, lose the girlfriend then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cut the girlfriend off. Her, I don't know what else the solution her, her, is. I watched the, some of these videos of this couple. They vlog. Mm -hmm. Her family actually, all, her father dis, uh, disowned her as well. Because he was Korean and was not going to be a Muslim, and that was a whole other. Yeah, thing. I mean, oh, you know what? This whole, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's just you know what? It's like at the end of the day, it's like you know, I really believe who gives a fuck, but you know, I've, there's I've, old traditional things, and my mom keeps saying, "Bobby, if you were gay, I'd be fine with it." No, you wouldn't have been, <laughs> you know. But you know, at least us, Coloco and I. Right, if we had kids, I think that we would be a lot more open. Sure, you know. Yeah, well, I'm a product of you know multiracial. Like if our daughter said, "I'm dating a black guy," I'd be fine. Would you? Yeah, I I, like... I, I, I would invite him in and say, "Show me your skills." I feel like you really <laughs> would. Your... <laughs> you know what I mean? He'd have to do basketball or but like rap like... or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? But let can me show. Ex... <laughs> can you know Will Smith? Yeah, you know Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. Will Smith? <laughs> Can you explain to me the deep-rooted racism that exists in the Asian community that's so kept hush-hush, but it's so deeply rooted against black people? What? You don't want Come him on. to answer. You want him to answer that for all of Asians? I can call Jessica. Maybe I, I, she can I, give I, me a better I, I think, explanation. I think that I think there is a cross section of every ethnicity that has a problem with other ethnicities and colors. No, I'm I not saying younger generation of Koreans. No, what I'm saying is is that it's it's something, it, you know, people are afraid of things that they don't know, right? Yeah. Like, for instance, um, I'll give you an example, and this is going to be a little far-fetched in your eyes, okay? But it's this. It's, um, we were at the dog park, <laughs> you and I, one time. Mm -hmm. And guess who was at the dog park? A pig. A pig. Oh, yeah, you remember? Yeah, 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 the Instagram pig. Yeah, there was an Instagram oh, pig the famous at, one. at the dog park. Mm. And my, Kalila was like, you could go come meet the pig. And I go, no. She said, why not? Because I don't want to love it. She's like, why? Because I, I'm going to continue to eat them. Just, just hear what. Just hear, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just, hear, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay? Bro, listen to it, bro. Because, yeah, I, right? I'm on board. Let's keep right? going. It's like people from the South, right? They don't have Muslim friends. Why? Because they don't want anything to cha for, for them to change their worldview. Mm -hmm. Right? They're happy with their worldview. They're happy with their worldview. So if, they, they're, yeah. if they, they're afraid that if they bring in a Muslim into their circle, that they're like, oh my God, they're just regular like us and they're good people. And you know what I mean? Wow, here my worldview is changing, right? 
I, I see where you're it. trying to go, but it's hard for me to believe that someone is so dead set and happy with their worldview that they're not willing to try it because they're afraid I of it I agree. Being I think that everyone should be open, open and they would Except try the it. What? Except the pigs. It was just an example of it. Like chickens either. I don't know a chicken because I want to eat them. Yeah. I don't want anyone that, anything to change my worldview. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel like we're just talking about foods that you like to eat. My pet chicken, Coco, <laughs> ate chicken. So yeah. that's why I kept eating chicken. You guys don't get what I'm saying. It's fine. Except I don't eat chicken I'm sick, anymore. so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just say what I want to say. You're sick. You Do you have it. another email or no? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I want, you want to talk about the Chinese dress? What's no, let's dress? talk about a different... Well, we do need to get your uh, reaction when Bob, your parents met Bobby. Oh, I'm a product of... Of so mom's initial reaction Yeah like I'm an interracial child Why I'm a multiracial child My parents don't give a shit My dad is part Egyptian My mom's Filipino Spanish whatever There's no they, That would be so hypocritical of them To say hey like Why are you bringing home a black guy Why are you bringing home a Korean Why They don't give a shit They never gave a shit In fact I have never heard them give me a, They've never given me a hard time about any race of people at all. I, and I really appreciate that about them. Even my mom. She never nagged you once about, be with Filipino, honey. Actually, my mom, that's the only thing she doesn't want me to. As a, as a Filipino, yeah. I, um, I think she has an idea that Filipino men are a certain way. And she, that's the one type that she has always been like, stay away from the <laughs> Filipino men. Wow. Thanks. Auntie. Stay away from my pe Yeah, it's weird, but I I get what she's saying. It's not all Filipino men are like that, but there's a specific type that she that encountered, uh, encountered that were like husbands of her sisters that she was like, no, no, no. So, uh, any shows for Bobby? <laughs> Hold on a second. What about what about your parents? Um, do they care that Cindy is Taiwanese? Uh, I don't think they care now. I think before it was. Uh, I think their mind they're always like Filipino Catholic, Filipino Catholic. That's so weird for me because I feel like Koreans are like okay, marry another Korean Korean. for sure. But Filipinos have never, I've never heard another Filipino say you have to marry Filipino, and they never said you had to. But I think that was like their preference. Dang, that's new to me. And then it turned into when they started seeing me dating white girls. They're like, just Asian, just try to keep it a broad (laughs) Asian. (laughs) What about you, George? They just want me to get married and have grandkids. Yeah. But um, they don't care what they are. My mom. Well, that just was a great <laughs> tiger belly, guys. Oh, well, you cut George off. I was. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> My parents want me to get. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for so the much podcast. for listening, guys. Mental prisons. Check us out on iTunes and, and Spotify. Are we on Spotify? Yeah. Check We're us out on all the platforms. All things comedy. Any oh. shows? I'm Cal- in Calgary in like three weeks. Two weeks. Is two that weeks. the right one? Everybody that was in the other yes, c- yeah, so in Calgary, two weeks. Real disappointed you, you weren't going to the- an, It wasn't an error on our part. Oh, okay. It was an error on. I just write down what's on mm-hmm. the copy list. and paste, and it was Vancouver <laughs> on the list, and I wrote Vancouver. So Calgary has yuck yucks, right? It's actually right? Calgary. Yes, it's the first time Bobby's doing Calgary. So everybody, come out and see him. Show up, Tiger Belly. Uh, okay. Anything else? Before That's we- it. Thank you. Watch um, splitting up together. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we have a new clips channel on YouTube, uh, Tiger Belly Clips. Check it out. Tiger Belly Clips. Uh, subscribe, please, like so we can sweating. open up all the and new... what's our uh, YouTube channel? What's that? What's that? It's our actual YouTube channel. Just Tiger Belly. Good stuff, George. Just Tiger... Yeah, so, all one word. Hey, George, can you turn it off now? I want to talk to him about something. Okay, uh, so make sure you follow us on Instagram, <laughs> at Tiger Belly, on Twitter, at the Tiger Belly. Email us any questions, and uh, thank you so much for all your breakup hey, with girl questions, but let's... Uh, Try some different unhelpful advice questions, guys. And that's at unhelpful advice, or that's at (laughs) tigerbelly at gmail.com. You can follow Cloud on all social media at Calamity King. And for more um, more stuff, bring in the fucking clown. (laughs) BobbyLeeLive.com. Bring in the clown. And you can follow George at just Instagram, George underscore Kimmel. Send in the clown. Rip it, rip it. And that's it. Check out Independence Day. Yeah. And make sure you blueapron.com. New movie called Independence Day. Uh, Available on all Slash belly. Bye, guys. Bye.